Hello, I'm Dr. Talena Wright, the Argyle ISD School Superintendent. October is National School Principals Month, and we are celebrating four of the best in the nation here in Argyle. Mr. James Hill at high school, Mr. Scott Gibson at middle school, Mrs. Renee Funderburg at Intermediate, and Mrs. Mandy Murphy at Hilltop. Thank you to these four outstanding principals. I'm James Hill. I'm the principal of Argyle High School. This is my third year in Argyle ISD. Um, in my 23rd year of education, I spent 20 years in Louisville ISD. I got my start in education being a coach and teacher. Um, I taught history and geography and um, I taught at the middle school level, then I moved up to the high school level coaching. I got into education because it combined the two things I loved, um, working with kids and sports and uh, it was a natural fit for me. My mother is an educator as well. So um, it's my passion and it's kind of a calling for me. It's not really a, a job. Uh, once I finally understood what, what really, um, where I was meant to be, um, I became very passionate about it. I'm just so proud to be an Argyle ISD. I um, love coming to work every day. Uh, we have fantastic kids here. Uh, we have tremendous uh, parent parental support. Um, our, our students understand what it means to work hard and um, set high goals and to, um, they, they expect excellence from us and um, we expect it from them and um, it, it's just a, a unique situation. We have an excellent community that supports us as well. Um, so I'm just really proud and, and pleased I'm able to be a part of it. Hi, my name is Scott Gibson. I'm the principal here at Argyle Middle School. This is my 21st year in education my 12th year in Argyle ISD, with this being my ninth year as principal here at the middle school. I got into education because I'm, I'm the son of two educators. My father was a principal, he was a middle school principal, and then, and then a high school principal, and my mother was my seventh grade English teacher. Once I got into education and became a teacher, uh, it was some of those mentors that I had growing up who said, you know, I think you'd be a good administrator. So that's what kind of helped push me into the role of being an administrator of a middle school. You know, each day I wake up, I just feel blessed in order to be able to come work at such a great place like Argyle Middle School. From the staff, to the community, to the students, this is the single greatest place to work and I feel like I have the best job in the entire district. But as an administrator, I feel like it's my calling to help these teachers help the students in order to be able to become successful adults. Hi, I'm Renee Funderburg, the principal at Argyle Intermediate School. I've been in education for 25 years and this is my fourth year here in Argyle. Uh, I started in education because I always tell everyone it was in my blood. Um, my grandfather was a superintendent. I had two uncles that are superintendents. Um, my dad was a coach and a teacher before he uh, went into higher education. So I feel like I was born and raised um, in the education household and um, had those values and um, beliefs instilled in me about how important education is and that it is a calling. And I really believe that I was called to be in education. So I really love the close-knit um, family atmosphere here at the intermediate school with only fourth and fifth grade. Um, that gives us the opportunity to really uh, focus in on those two very important grade levels. We can maintain the close-knit family uh, school community. Um, I get to know all the kids in the building. By the end of the year I can honestly say I know every kid in the building. Um, teachers work very closely together, the staff works very closely together um, with parents and everyone and we provide the best education to the fourth and fifth graders. My name is Mandy Murphy, I'm the principal at Hilltop Elementary here in Argyle and I have been in education for 17 years. Um, it's been across the board that, that I've worked. Uh, primarily my teaching and coaching was in middle school and high school. Uh, I became the AP here at Hilltop and then a year and a half later I was the principal. And so I've been, I've been here for seven years and just a joy to be here. 
once you get in and you get in the trenches with these people and you see the dedication that they have and the perseverance that they have to make children's lives better and you know we say all the time it takes a village to raise children teachers all the educators that are in a building are a huge piece of that partnership with parents and uh, the, the joy that I see on a day-to-day -day basis is when we get children to a point that they struggle and they persevere through that struggle and get on the other end of that and that challenge makes them stronger and better, um, it captivates my energy, makes me want to press on, makes me want to be better so that I can serve them more. Here in Argyle, all of our students have the capabilities of being great leaders. and. We want to um, promote them in where their leadership strengths are. And I think sometimes children think, oh, I have to be the one that's speaking, I have to be the one in front. And they don't. A lot of times our best leaders are leaders by action. They show compassion for others. They, they help others find their strengths. And starting as early as pre-K, our three and four year olds, all the way through all of our campuses to our children that are looking to go to college, looking to press on, uh, to their own endeavors, we want those leadership skills and that ability to bring up other skills to be present in the rest of what they do. And it is just a thrill every day. I'm always excited to get up and get here because I never know what is going to be in front of us, but I know we are going to see children grow.